The plan is simple. I'm making art for all 890 Pokemon. The order is mostly random, and I'm creating with various mediums. Hi everyone, welcome back. This time I'm making Meryl, and the footage is a little different this time because I'm showing my Cricut machine. It's super, super old, but since Meryl is perfect circle upon perfect circle, I needed to cut some circles out. I ended up making way too large of circles, but I, I went with it anyway. Uh, so you can just set like the size of what you're cutting, the shape of what you're cutting, and you just run it through. Um, so yeah, I did that for the body, the ears, and the tail. But I'm not just going to be talking to you guys about my craft this time, uh, because Meryl holds like a special place in my heart for like childhood memories. Um, and you'll see, I I've inserted a photo at the end, so if you stick around you'll see it. Um, but when I was in kindergarten, my family made me a Meryl costume. And, oh man, um, it wasn't round, like, at all. It wasn't really round. Uh, I thought I was really cool. I thought I was, like, the coolest kid ever, because I was a Pokemon. So, two decades and I haven't changed. Um, but... <laughs> I remember distinctly that my childhood best friend had not worn his costume to school. And I was like super upset. I was like, oh, like you should have worn it. Like, what are you worried about? And, you know, it's only, the, you have to wear it to be cool. And here I am probably lecturing him with my hands on my hips. And I'm looking like this lumpy deflated balloon because there wasn't enough stuffing in my costume to make me look like Meryl. Like, I just looked like a, like a plastic bag or something. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I guess for age five, that's like, it's good enough, you know? Better than some other Halloween costumes you might try to make. I think way, way back, Joanne's Fabrics actually sold the costume patterns. And I think that's how we ended up doing that. Uh, but yeah, if you stick around to the end, you'll see a picture of me in said costume. Uh, so now I'm just choosing the background for Meryl and I just need to tape it down. So I have my massive box of washi tape with stickers. Should probably get some more stickers on that. Uh, and I chose this floral one. Mm, I don't know why. I think I've used this one for several videos now. I'm gonna run out soon. <laughs> uh, figures. I'm starting to go to craft stores a little bit more. Um, so I guess I can replenish it, but last time I went out, um, this guy, <laughs> this guy, I was looking in the, in the paper aisle and he, he took his mask off to cough. Like, I just, <laughs> the logic, oh, it's so bad. And at that point I was like, all right, I'm ready to go home. Like I, I have craft supplies. I can come back some other time. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just gluing Meryl together now. Uh, getting these little arms. I probably could have used the Cricut to make ovals for that as well, but I just, I really prefer to work with my hands and just, uh, cut with precision, precision scissors. So, uh, for the arms and legs, I did that. Um, yeah, I don't know. If, if you haven't been here before and you're expecting this to be entirely how-to, I'm so sorry. No, this is... This is a place I come to ramble sometimes, so welcome! <laughs> uh, what am I doing with this pink paper? I think cutting his mouth. Yep. Okay. Just cutting a little mouth. And, uh, oh, coloring it a little bit darker. Yep. Uh, I use that, like, lined notebook sometimes when I'm drawing or coloring on any of the pieces because I don't want to get anything else dirty uh, and it's just a really old notebook so I don't care so I've got his nose and uh, <laughs> I have big round eyes I like to do these stylized paper eyes so I went through my box of shapes and I found these two little stars that I thought would be nice for the sparkle in his eyes I had a sparkle in my eyes when I was dressed as Meryl. <laughs> oh, it's the 
coolest Halloween costume ever. Oh man. Uh, so now I'm just outlining the ears and the body and everything. And you can see behind my notebook that the, the paper that Meryl is going on is like way too small. He's just such a big round boy. <laughs> uh, but I didn't want to remake anything. I, I figured it was okay. I try to keep things within a border in case I go to frame the art later, but uh, Meryl refused to be contained. <laughs> I barely had space to draw the the black line of the tail. I think I did like two zigzags and that was all I had room for. Mm, yep. Yep, someone that doesn't know Pokemon might look at this and think that that's coming out of his head. But yeah, this is it. This is pretty much the uh, finished Meryl. Uh, if you enjoy this video, uh, please have a look around. I am trying to recreate as many Pokemon as I can. And subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. Promised photo evidence that I was a lumpy Meryl as a child. <laughs> Bye!